Meanwhile, tonight, the Virginia Attorney General is speaking directly with Northern Virginia's Asian American community on issues of discrimination in schools. His office currently has two open investigations into Fairfax County Schools, and our Adrian DiPiazza joins us now live in Alexandria with what he had to say. Adrian? Well, Rob, you know, the Asian American community here in this area helped pull this together. They said they wanted to hear directly from the attorney general on where things stand. It breaks my heart that I'm hearing from so many Virginians that say my child's being denied some of their dreams because of just who they are. That's not right. If you mean by equity, you know, um, uh, equal opportunity, I believe in equal opportunity. If you mean by equity, forced equal outcomes, that's the opposite of, I think, what a healthy pluralistic society should look for. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miares gave an update tonight to the community which helped launch a state human rights investigation. Miares is looking into allegations of discrimination in the admissions process of Fairfax County's renowned STEM program at Thomas Jefferson High School. The issue was first brought to him by concerned parents. Miares said in the town hall meeting that after the school began policies of equal opportunities, the number of Asian students admitted went down by 20 percent. His office is also investigating the entire county for 17 schools failing to timely notify students of National Merit Award recognitions. Tonight, members of the Asian community raised concerns also over Asian hate trends and crimes, as well as public safety and secure elections. Several Fairfax County Public School students also raised their own concerns of issues like bullying and the possible discrimination. My class's admissions exam was the second year they changed it, and I think that a lot of students could have been admitted to TJ, but missed out on it because of the new uh, equity-based system. There's like this thing, like a prejudice, discrimination against Asians, but like how do we actually know whether it's a discrimination? Being Asian could just be used as an excuse when you're really not good enough. Now, Miari said that these investigations are still in the thick of going through tons of paperwork. They're also interviewing families and the administrators at Thomas Jefferson and Fairfax County Public Schools. He did not give any timeline on when they may be wrapped up, but he did encourage anyone, including families, parents, and students who may feel they have something to add, to contact his office. Back to you.